Hi guys, well uh, as the title says I can't believe that I actually forgot to do this. Um, okay, please let me explain. Okay, a week ago on my last video I featured three of these Triang, uh, the transcontinental steamers, uh, triple headed, pulling a full rake of the Triang um, freight stock, I think every one of the cars that they ever made, and in some cases there were two of the same car. Um, and I had planned on a, a quite a nice finale. Um, I can't believe it. I came up today to do to clear the layout, ready to do the next video, and I realised I'd forgotten something that on that on that last one. So bear with me. And that something what I'd forgotten was this. Look, I really wanted to show you this. My plan was to put it on the front of the train at the end of the video uh, to make it like a finale for the video um, and it's a snowplow it's Triang's R138 snowplow where you can see where the wings are out on it there so it's a great little bit of kit and I just couldn't I can't believe I forgot to put it on the front and show it you um, so I'm going to do that now but rather than it just be the same train going round and round again although it's only going to be a short video um, I've had it even some more bits so I'll talk you through it in a second just want to get this one on the track it's a bit awkward to do with one hand because the wheels are under that uh, low level bit there so just bear with me a couple of seconds well she's on the track now um, coupled up to the first locomotive um, and I've pushed the wings back in um, because obviously there were catch on, catch on things like signals on the wall whatever so you actually push those back in if you're not needing them out um, and yet yeah, she's ready to rock and roll and run around now rather than it be the same thing going round and round again although it's only going to like I say be a short video I will tell you I've, I've actually added a couple of other bits as well and I've made an alteration so just check this out just have a quick look over there you'll see the, the red wagon next to the uh, uh, signal and the one before it and that's two more of the track cleaning cars so there's four there now well this two came a couple of days back so I quickly changed the wheels on them and I've added them in and if you're wondering why I want four track cleaning cars well I'm going to do that in a, in a different video uh, but for the moment it puts two more transcontinental cars onto this uh, onto this long train uh, so as well as that I've also um, put the giraffe car on which I, again I also forgot to run last week um, and I've put some new wheels on it and to be able for it to work which a lot of people have asked me about seeing some of these old Triang gadgets actually working for real in a way to get it to work you have to use this right that is the rail that comes with the kit and it clips in between the tracks so it's like a center rail and it's the magnetism that pulls it down um, it fits in there like that in a super four track but uh, I'm on nickel track here and it won't fit because it's pico track and it won't fit so what I've done I've pulled the rail out of the I pulled the little plastic pieces off the rail all completely and I blue tacked it well I started to blue tack it so if will it into city 82 if you see this video have actually blue tack on my layout for the first time but it was really funny because when they when I tried it out and the giraffe car came across the first time it just ripped the rail straight out of the out of the blue tack it wasn't good enough to hold it so I've super glued it as well so give me a couple of secs and uh, I'll be back and we'll have this all running and I'll show you the the new additions on the run round last week I had the, the blue caboose on the back here uh, I've now changed it for the second red one which has already got the uh, scale uh, metal uh, pinpoint axle wheels fitted because I wanted every possible carriage I could put wagon I could put on here to have the modern wheels fitted I have changed the wheels on the snow plow as you can see there but I didn't do the front two because it's quite a special bogey that they made specially for this but I can get away with that that's not a big deal now you'll also notice last week I had all three of the uh, Transcon um, R54 locomotives there, all three coupled together, which worked quite good. But I had a problem. When I added the two extra cleaning wagons and the giraffe car, it took the weight limit for this lot to pull just enough that I was having derail problems and I'll explain to you what's happening if you imagine that three locos are all coupled together so we'll say that's the third one at the back and you're coupled to this first wagon here which is how it was last week 
the problem you've got now is you've got all the power from three locomotives pulling at that point with the whole drag of all the uh, wagons all the way round and it comes right round now with the three extra ones to there well we've only got that small space there between the beginning and the end and what that causes is because there's so much pull on the wagons it can cause them to flip sideways over as they're all being pulled around the track around the curve and it's exactly what I was getting once I added the three extra wagons so to get round it dead easy you find out which loco is the fastest you put it at the front then you find out which loco is next fastest and you put it part way down the train in this case it's eight cars in between eight, eight wagons in between and then you put the third loco being the slowest runner there again eight cars in between and eight cars on the back end and what that does it keeps the weight pulled symmetrically throughout the train rather than having it all in that one point there and causing the problems so here we go okay it's time to roll let's do it Nice steady pull away. Snow plow on the front. We'll leave it here for the first bit round. Right, here comes Loco 2. Okay, there's Giraffe car with his neck sticking up. Here comes number 3. Like I say, split up right across the length of the train now. So let's, uh, yeah, here's the bum, and here is the nose. Okay, I get just here, you should see the giraffe girl now. There you go. Pop his head, and <laughs> back up. The idea is, of course, you have like a tunnel or a, uh, a height gauge or something there. So, this comes again. One tick now, the giraffe car. Here we go. Yes! <laughs> Wicked! <laughs> right. Now what I was saying to you earlier about the uh, about um, dispersing the pulling weight across the whole of the train uh, and picking the locos which run the fastest at the front blah 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 and slower ones further down the train you'll see here now if I get on the tender of this let's get ready to go around once more so I can just get the right angle for you hang on you'll see on the first loco on the tender you'll see that the coupling is most definitely being pulled so just bear with me i've slowed it down so i can get this for you right, come on, come on. right here we go now if you look at the coupling on this tender you can see that is pulled okay and now if we get the next loco that one is also being pulled and on the third loco so is that which means that each loco is actually pulling back slightly on the rate of coaches in front of it. This is perfect for doing this. So there we go. A couple of ones round and then we'll call it a day. Looks great guys. Bloody well long now. That's all my trying wait stop absolutely all of it now apart from the fact I've got uh, some, some Canadian stuff and I've also got the uh, the other caboose a couple of other caboose as well let's get up here we oh, sorry I'm shaking the camera oh, sorry fell over the doorstep <laughs> right there we go this time round then Get the giraffe car again for you. Here it comes, what's his head? Hey! Wicked! Super duper. Yeah, it looks great job at that. It's at the beginning and the end of it. Really hard catching up with each other there. Wicked. Yep. Okay, let me, uh, let me get down and show you how, how this giraffe mechanism works. It's only a magnet, a piece of steel track, but it's very clever, it works really good. Alright, let's get over here. That focus. Slow down now. Right, 
so you can see the mechanism actually work. Right, it's coming up now. Right, after this low coat. Right, that's down look. Now it's down. And that's up. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Alright guys, well I think that's definitely it this time round. So another update to the transcontinental freight uh, steamers and freight set and I hope you enjoyed it there's the snow plower right at the front as I said I wish I'd have put it on last week and forgot so thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed this update um, now I will tell you I'm now going to clear the layout off and I've got something pretty special coming next week it's going to take me a week to do it there's a lot of work involved that's all I'm going to say but it'll be ready you know towards the weekend so I should probably hopefully upload it at the weekend so till then guys be good to each other be good to yourselves and take care all the usual things so take care bye 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 bye, bye.